be perpetually tired just resubscribed for 36 months, when there are 3 eyes. Electric underscore Arfornja just resubscribed for 26 months, shfm fade.
came back to a hype train. That is what you like to see. YouTube popping off hella hard too. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Arxile? Michael or Mikhail, my bad. Came running so fast. Don't want it, YouTube. Nice. Print Hello World. What? Forgot about this? Yeah, it's today. More like Gothic Geneva Convention. Yo. Dankus Darmjan? The second one doesn't really match the first. Dilse is a baddie. I agree. Any game devs we need to cook? I guess so. The vault account on two, two freaking chats. Hope they announce console port. Same, dude. Not gonna play much on console, but I know there are a lot of console friends out there. Rage for Highwayman or Houndmaster or A Bomb. I don't know if we're getting a character. Switch release. Same. That's what I played on. Alien trailer. What? Up one. Up Ed. Up Nile. Over to YouTube. Not YouTube. Uh, Twitch. Vogan Ranger, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the hype train, y'all. Thirty-six months. That's three years on Vogan. Three years for the three eyes. Ranger, of course, the goat. Want more maps? That'd be nice. Can we wait for some content soon? There's always content, all right? The content is infinite. All right, decent frame rate. I missed the train, damn. Even though it was on my channel. What's up, Barrett? What's up, Wallet? What's up, Vogan, of course. Draft, hey. Charles, what's up, Ramu? Parallel, good to see you. What's up, Misk? How you doing, man? I need a VIP, you Misk. Let me do that right now. What do I do? You know what? I'll do it in a sec. What's up, Derp? What's up, Chris? The one true nut. Nice name. Thanks for following. What's up, Nero? Thanks for hanging out on DRG the other day. What's up, Seek? Chai, Nowie, hello. What's up, Exam? What's up, Uber? Fed, what's going on, man? I'm gonna gamble if Red Hook announces another paid DLC. We'll see. What's up, T? What are you doing while the stream starts? Good question. What's up, fine. My DRG grind set starting? I don't know. My friends um, and I, we don't get to match up too often on that, because where's my game? Game. There you go. Don't think it's going to happen? You have to hope. It's not cope. We've heard your feedback. Welcome back, the fanatic. No. Do I think we're getting a new DD2 unit? Eventually, probably not today though. When does the triple I start? 25 minutes. Have any info about more characters? No, I've got nothing. No insider info? I don't know shit right now. Some nocturnes. Excited for the stream? Yes. You missed DRG? No, I was playing with my friends off stream, but we had three and then Nero dropped in and kind of carried us for a bit. What's been on today's announcement? I'm thinking console ports and maybe the DLC. Do a quick leper jester run. Cat face? No. TLS DLC soon. Are they is Ishtar here? I would love that. I'm mad about the DLC if it has A bomb. We'll be in the DLC. I I have no idea. I can't even speculate because. They said the DLC is going to, quote, fundamentally change the way we play DD2. No clue what the hell that means. BC and DD2. I quit. Mod support? I like mod support. No joke. The, uh, 
Having mod support and like console ports would really just stretch out the lifespan of this game immediately. New mega crit game. They're gonna announce a fifth character in STS. New tokens, maybe. Moving the game back to DD1. I mean, DD1 just peaked with all time player count a few days ago. Sex update? We already have Amorous. New Grand they announced the Smash Bros, like where Randall fights against other indie characters. What won it, won it, what won it, won it, dead or alive, dead or alive. News? Yeah, uh, 20 minutes. Why did DD1 get a bunch of new players? Because it went 90% on sale. So it was like $3. And the game will be on Mac? I have no idea. DD1 DLC. I think they're done with DD1. There's no mod support yet in DD2. DD games go on sale constantly. They do, but I really, I don't, I could not tell you why DD1 popped off. There's spike in views in my old vids, yes. My vids always go up when DD goes on sale, but kind of crazy. Dating Sim and Darkest Dungeon 2, Chris told you through smoke signals. What were you like, hotboxing the room? Those are the smoke signals. Same, I know. Misk out here making the best lore on the game ever. I don't know if I told you this, Misk, but I had people go, why don't you do lore videos? I'm like, they're not going to be as good as Miskatonics. There's no point. I shouldn't. <laughs> that lane is closed. I wanted dead or alive stuck in your head way too long, yeah. You should blush. Blush harder. Now. D3 is going to be a Persona-like. New DD1 fan since the sale a few days ago? Yeah, see? Look at that. New people. How do I know there will be update news? Because there's a showcase coming, and Red Hook's going to be there, and they have stuff to announce. DD3 is an extraction shooter. When you think about it, isn't every game an extraction shooter? Fighting game video I made was hilarious. That was Ranger, but yeah. Thank you. Ancestor Returns. He's already in DD2. He's in part of the story. Extract these nuts. Life is an extraction shooter. True. True. Chew. Announcement in question to Infernal Flames. I would... would rage quit. I would rage quit content for like two weeks. MVC fighting game, now you're talking my language. I think Plague Doctor would be like the anchor assist type character. Disorienting Blast is a huge launcher. Hollow Vessel is now a character? Sure. E3 is going to be Fire Emblem like? I wouldn't be opposed. The American Paddlefish? What the fuck is that? I'll announce the sequel to Corpses or Heart Attacks. I know, right? DD based first person horror game. Um, all you have to do is look through your regular eyes and realize that Grave Robber is only pixels. That's the horror game. TTRPG? They already have a board game. You can finally spend those 3,000 candles? You already can. They have an update uh, a couple weeks ago. FPS with flintlocks? Hell yeah. I repeat the expectations for this announcement. I expect that there will be news. No, I'm kidding. I think it's gonna... I think it'll be console ports and maybe a DLC preview. Make no mistake. Any one of those three is a win. Console ports, that's a win. Mac port, sure, that's a win. Mod support, that's a win. DLC, that's a win. Some new, some kind of prestige system. Similar to ATS. Oh, I forgot. I made an ATS video last night. Covering the new patch. I haven't put it up yet. 
More Infernal also win? Hell no. How do you opt into the new update? So you go to the settings, so like you go to Steam, Darkest Dungeon 2, you click the, the wheel for settings, you go to properties, and it says beta, and then you click coming in hot. That's the uh, beta branch. Which is funny because that was the beta branch in the first game. Is this a big event? Console port when other devs are showing new games seems too little. I agree, but I am tempering my expectations. Multiplayer co-op? I play co-op, DD. Just let the modders handle Infernal. I'd rather just get nuked from the game. What does Triple I mean? Triple I is the Triple A equivalent for indie studios. So like the big indie studios like Megacrit and Hopu. That kind of stuff. Red Hook. PD Co-op sounds more fun than Butcher Circus. True. Lewin, thanks for the nine months. What's our stream baby's name? My Strelu win just resubscribed for nine months. DD three times from Pog. The crossroads. Alright. <clears throat> And the battered. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. I know what to do. I'm doing it right now. Is this new patch out on live? I'm not sure. I saw a video of me playing the game around nine months ago, and I said it terrible, and I don't want to play it again. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Look, man, sometimes I'm hyperbolic, okay? Especially if you were looking at my Grand Slam videos, I was so salty. What's the candle update? Um, you can use candles to re-roll quirks. Like this. And you can use them at the altar. So if you go to the working fields, like the slot machine, the gotcha, you can um, you can use it again and pull random items for your next run. There's also some candle events when you're uh, on the road. Any fun DD2 comps? Anything with Grave Robber is pretty good. Sometimes I'm hyperbolic. Look, man. No, a team I like that... I haven't really perfected yet is like having double dodge tank. I think it was really fun. DD2 beach event, Summer Audrey. True. Pulling item sounds busted. Well, they're random, but yeah. The Packer. Long time fan. Love you diversifying content. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Really glad you like the new stuff. Keep watching, I'll keep making it. I play Venom Drop, maybe? Yeah, eventually. So, Boss Wagner just resubscribed for two months. Anything with Duelist is automatically the most fun. Thanks for the two months, and true. The horror is very fun. One minute? Oh, is that on, um... Let me go to their YouTube channel. Oh, they premiere now. All right. Goodbye, DD2. Hehe. <laughs> Not this. I don't want that. I want this. It still picked the wrong one, you bastard. Why is it so loud? Why? Okay. I was, I was gonna talk about the Dredge fishing movie, but... 69 viewers, nice. Let's do it this way.
Mmm, professional streamer. Yeah, I don't know why that shit's so loud. Alright. Rock and Stone. Forgot there's other games. I can speed up. I can speed you up out of this chat. Is that on the other screen? It's YouTube chat. And with the hyperdrive? What what is um Is it hyperbomb? Third strike? You can't escape. E2 update news sounds more appealing. Did I not put that? Too late. All right, hold on. Everybody shut up. Chad, what's going on? Time to play DD. I want to talk about this Dredge movie. How do you think this is gonna be? Picture of Hellion on screen while we wait. I'm too lazy. What's up, Omni? This is a uh, an indie showcase, like E3, but for indies. What about a second countdown? Wanna see a trailer before you say anything? Uh, whoever wrote this made some good points. They said like, uh, there's no central protagonist and stuff in this game. So it's like, how would it work out? But I mean, just the setting alone is good enough. In a Hellion VTuber avatar? No. We got troll, we got super troll. Petition for a DD movie. Let's fix DD2 first. I think I think this is brilliant to have something like Triple I, honestly. The Stranger Things music? No, it's whatever music they have. But yeah. Definitely gonna check this out. This article doesn't really say anything besides like it's an announcement. Fisherman is the main dude, especially if you think of the the true ending. I haven't beat it yet, so. I mean, yeah, the character you play is obviously the pro tag, but they don't, at least from what I've played so far, they don't have too much of a, like a voice, if that makes sense, presence. Cat usually finds me with my afternoon coffee, never my morning coffee. Enter the Gungeon. Let's take a moment together to watch how hypnotic this triple I logo animation is. So smooth, so satisfying. Whoever handles the social media for this, uh, I don't know what to call it, organization, they, they have some jokes, like on the webpage too. Maybe a narrative horror. I'd be fine with that. Need a lot of rewriting for Dredge to work as a movie. Yeah. Like, you can't reveal monsters or whatever in the first 30 minutes. It has to be like a two hour movie to build up anticipation. Then you, like, show the, the monsters in, like, the first hour. I have to see what comes out. Same. What's up, Michael? Found the beta? Good luck, man. A full DD2 review on YouTube? I'm going to make one soon. That's finished D1, but hesitating on getting the second. I mean, the second's fun. Uh, I got review bombed a little bit. The combat's more refined and better, but the overall experience is a little different. Like, it's more narrative heavy. STS2, maybe. What's up, Chibi? 
To all people who bet the Triple I Initiative was a new store, a label, or NFTs, we apologize. <laughs> Dude, whoever. <laughs> What's the name of this highly anticipated Metrovania with an insect? It looks cool. Oh, Hollow Knight. Oh, Silk Song? Are they trolling Silk Song? I think YouTube stream is a minute late. It might be. Where are you watching? Twitch? Is it faster on Twitch? Twitch chat's kind of unga bunga. Are they streaming on YouTube? Or Twitch? You know, I'm wondering... I am actually wondering how many of these people are official Restream partners. Oh, dude, they're way ahead. Thanks, Swagner. My people got afflictions from the second countdown. Not ready for the third countdown. With... Oh, they have a sale, too? Nice. You know what's going to happen? I bet you, with the way this is going, they're going to have... Um, what is it? They're going to finish this countdown and then have like a five second one out. Like they're going to have like another, a third one. It's like, sorry, we need more time. And then it's going to instantly cut to uh, the start. The coach traveled to each trailer. <laughs> the DD, how you doing, man? I think it's it's weird. Do you want to watch it in 4K? That's YouTube. Do you want to watch it with like a 10 MS delay? That's Twitch. There's a countdown to when the Earth explodes. The center's hollow Earth. What are you talking about? That's where King Kong and Godzilla went. Generated by AI. They should have a mess, like a hand with six fingers with that. This sounds like some Inception sequel music. Watching from Japan. What's up, Japan? I tried the last spell. I love that game. Yes, I played the hell out of that game. So I'm excited for DLC. Sign of the Earth or DD1 spoilers? Not wrong. Want to watch it on an unregistered hypercam at 140? Those, those were the old days of Twitch. Music's loud. Is it still out on the stream? Hold on. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Music. I watched Asmund play that game. And for the first, like, hour, I was going, wow, this is hella funny. And then the rest of it, I was like, okay, this is fucking boring. The same old shit! This dude did not put triple I in the dick. 
I watch Asmund? Rarely. I used to watch him quite a bit, but not anymore. I like watching him play Bullet Heavens. Like, Death Must Die. That's fun. Godzilla movies are Marvel tier. The newest one was. Like, no spoilers, but I saw my girlfriend a couple days ago, and coming out of it, I was like, this felt like Marvel made this one, you know, compared to the first couple. It, it's went in such a different direction. Is the Silk Song Cope over? Marvel movies Puck? I think they're cool. Who said they're Marvel tier? The newest one feels like a Marvel movie. That's all I'm saying. Triple I Inception? Never over. I didn't realize Hollow Knight was going to pop as hard as it did, like, when I played it. I did a Let's Play of it when it came out. And I went, wow, this game's amazing. Even though I, I was really, really bad, because it took me, like... There's a couple bosses that took me, like, three or four hours. I think the Radiance was one of them, and I think, uh... Like, one other... Lost Vessel or whatever it is. Weird, messed up looking dude with the bulge. Silk so Song's not gonna be released for another two years. Something had to have happened in development. Like, they maybe they got halfway through and went, this isn't working, and then they redid it. Guaca Melee? The finally soon TM? It might be. New Marvel sucks? Kinda, yeah. Like, after they did Endgame, I was like, eh. It just, it feels like there's no passion in them anymore. Because now they're just like, oh, let's tell what other, you know, let's tell some other stories, but, you know, just, now it's a whole thing. We're going to pump out four or five movies a year. We're going to make, like, four series a year. Wooly, I see you. Chat rules, be kind. You know, I'm gonna misspell his name. Wooly Tech W. This is still so loud. In the beginning, the showcase got set open. The show with the banger closed with a banger book of showcases. <laughs> Sub to me on Twitch. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Wooji, we stand woolly in this house. They just don't make good stories. Are they, like, deviating from the source material? They told the best story first. That's true. We'll make it, bro. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate that. Will McKay at bro made Loki spin. How long is the announcement going to be? They said they're going to do, like... It's like an announcement every 90 seconds or something. It's like 45 and 60 minutes. Need to record this music to play at the end of your next DDT video? Play this song at my funeral. Depends on the era of Godzilla, but... Godzilla X Kong is certainly Marvel-type film, yeah. They say our Godzilla is the goats. I didn't even mind. I mean, I do like the old ones too, but I didn't. I didn't mind the uh, the first of these of this series, like the Godzilla Kong series, when it was just Godzilla. I thought the first one was really good. I like the second one too. I even like the Kong movie. It's just the most recent one was good. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but it definitely felt Marvel tier because they had, you know, joke writing and uh, just a lot of heroic moments. I'm gonna play the Farmstead combat music at my funeral. That means no one's gonna leave. 
Dune 2 is good. I haven't seen either of them. Most writers either make bad characters, don't make characters, or assassinate the ones that were established. Probably a Disney problem. Like, no joke, the, um, the Planet of the Apes movies, the recent ones from, like, 2011, my girlfriend and I, we just watched all three of them. And we were both like, wow, these are fucking great. Like, why aren't these more popular? And then the third one ends. Like, it's clearly made as a trilogy. And then the third one ends, and it's an ending point. And you go, okay, I'm satisfied with this ending. And then Disney buys the rights, and now they're pumping out a new one. Although, to be fair, it looked pretty good. I'm not a fan of the villain being the dude that played Harvard and Vikings, though, because I fucking hate him. Planet of Monkey. Shame GXK happened yet. Yeah. Risk of song. Stay tuned after the show. This music, this over the top music is giving us chills. <laughs> How's the volume? Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. What's my predictions for today? Uh, DD2 console ports, DLC preview. Risk of Rain 2 DLC preview. STS 4. No. STS 5th character. I don't know what Mega Crit's gonna do. A bit loud? Okay. That was too quiet. Fine. On program may contain content that some viewers find offensive. Maybe. <laughs> Gearbox isn't triple I. And slay your spire, eh? This is a really good intro because it's doing the thing where it changes every like one to three seconds. So it's like triggering your ADHD. It's hopefully gonna be fun. Hopefully. World premiere. Wayne? <laughs> we got Wayne, dude. This is feeling Hades. No, it, dude, it's silent. It's a two. I knew it. Oh my God. Oh. New character, Necro. Nice, silent, best character still in the game. Sick. Hi. Y'all have said it's 2025. I'm happy it's happening. This is Risk of Rain. Wait, Dead Cells? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is he just a Merc skin? Can we please get some balance? Can we make like... I don't know, can we make some of the characters better? Because, I mean, this game's been out forever, man. The free update. World premiere. This is Hades. Maybe not. It is, right? Maybe not. Dark Knight. Oh, is this Blasphemous? It is just new. Every world premieres this Hades now. Look, man. It's hard to tell, okay. Is this a a bullet heaven? It is a bullet heaven, but like Remove Elder Lemurians. I can't even read chat. This is going so fast. It's just called Kill Knight. Okay. Bullet Abyss. Watching the Triple I Initiative. My ADHD is fully triggered. This city's got it all. 
bartenders, debt collectors, voxel, doctors, nice waiters, enforcers, killers. Now you missed the DET thing. Now there's a new kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun. A crossover for DD2. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work. They clock out. Everyone compares it to it. Why not bring him in? Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do is find them. Among us, I saw it. Before they kill again. Oh, is it a Devolver Digital? See Fire Shine. The Sandrock? It is Sandrock. None of you knew that! I fucking did! We didn't think the Viking raids could get any worse. The Danes are coming! Wow. Real historical footage of England. Must tame the land. Establish a thriving village and keep it supplied as it grows. You don't play baby and games? Look, my girlfriend loved my time at Porsche, okay? A mighty castle. Train your forces and prepare to man the ramparts. For our enemies have harnessed an ancient terror. A T-Rex! Okay, I'm playing it. I'm playing it now. That that got me. World of steel and scale. Only the bravest leaders. The ones who can I love dinosaurs, man. The ones who can raise an army. The ones who can fight together. Yeah, at first they had my curiosity, now they have my attention. Dino Lords. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wishlist now on Steam. I'm buying it. I don't have to see anything else. Ghost Ship! Are they publishing? All right, Metroidvanias. We stand. Levels. I don't see damage numbers, though. I want to see my damage numbers. All right, cute anime waifu pro tag. I'm in. That's it. Day one purchase. Her hair turns into fire. That's my OC. Oh my god, it's like Path of Exile. Steampunk Metroid, yes. I love steampunk, even if Dardigan hates it. Katana Zero? Mm. Says Stalt. Or Gestalt. Okay, I was like, what? is coming to PlayStation. The game people have described as the most fun I've ever had with one hand. You can play as a dog. There are no vampires in this game. You'll get the right build and just delete a whole screen of enemies. The garlic looks like balls. Vampire Survivors is coming to PlayStation. Oh, uh, is this the Castlevania crossover or something? Maybe not. Wait, aren't, don't they have a movie coming? Looks like this was made by the Castlevania studio. Totally animated like it. No, their audience, yep. He's already dead! Pro Force? Kind of looking like it. It is a Contra crossover.
The Metal Slug? It might be. I don't know most of these. I knew Contra. I don't know who the woman is, though. Operation Gun. She has a whip. Only the, the oldies will remember Contra. Rise from your grave. Brad Fang from Contra Hardcore? Yo, furries. My name is Eric Hillman, and I am the composer for Flintlock. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic and gods and wonder. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to this setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to be yeah, very DD specific too, no. and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome and I'm gonna be something honest. epic and kind of like you were up It looks like UE5. Something. That's why I'm like, eh. Like standard third person UE5. It look it still I'm looks good. This just isn't my type of game. Players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much. He really likes filming really himself to music. Video games yet. In the faces of the gods below. There was no gun in that that trailer. World premiere. Oh, we have another artsy game. This isn't an endlessly playable roguelite. Was it announced at E3? E3 doesn't exist anymore. Ice Age, the game. Never Alone 2. Actually not alone. Mm, yes. It was not always like this. Moonlighter. I like Our Moonlighter. Lost centuries of mist. I didn't play Mage Seeker though. Did we overuse the Perlas? Their infinite power. That old. Maybe. The horrors were born, and that day the cataclysm began. Well, some of those weren't animated, they just kind of like floated over. Then one night, instead of fear, came hope. She bent the parallels to her will. I'm not vibing with the color palette. It looks like really flat. Like three colors they used, four. But uh, I'll still try it. Take our hourglass, hero. Death must die. Your bearings and focus your mind. Yes. And enter death's realm once again. Yes, Nixie, the best character, by the way. Actually, where's Kron? Me need Kron. They're showing all the women. You really think you can kill Death Well? We don't have a strength for him. <laughs> Kron, where's Kron? Kind of Show me Kron. Oh, they got an archer dude. Allow me to interfere as the gods. Where is Kron? They're also not showing the best waifu, Mort. Or justice? Show justice. Where's justice, man? No Kron- did Kron get removed? Rise again, hero. 
This is not your end. Time best waifu. Winter spreads fire, I know, right? When Earth turns against you, survival is all that matters. Looks like a city builder, yeah. We are pioneers of our time. I like ATS a lot. I love ATS. This is a bit too city buildery for me, though. We live to expand. Not usually a fan of like super hyper realistic stuff and like resource, like heavy resource management. Old Vegas. What's ATS against the storm? I know this is last of <laughs> the Last of Us city builder. To survive. Do people get nads? You should be happy. I have Twitch Turbo Chat. Also, I have ad, ad blocker, but still, I got Twitch Turbo just in case. Can't play City Builders after Anno 1800? Oh, that's loud. Is this Mycology or whatever? Minicology? No, it's not. I need more power! ADHD trailer dropped, yep. This is the secret chat. Everyone does this. Trailers, YouTubers, it's just change, 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 like new scene, new scene, new scene. It was the scariest with uh, Coco Melon because my girlfriend worked with a lot of autism kids. And so Coco Melon would come up and she's like, they change scenes, no joke, every like two seconds. And then you sit there and you count, and it's like one, two, new, like new angle, one, two, new angle. How long will this stream be? Oh, this is Undermine. I haven't played this yet. Um, this is supposed to be an hour, so about 40 more minutes. The chat on actual stream not see the ROR2 thing earlier? Probably not. It was hella short. This game's called Undermine, unless you mean the showcase. This is Triple I. It was like E3, but. Uh, for indies. He's so big. Dude, if there's any Silk Song announcement, it's at the end. You know this. You know. 45 minutes of reveals. There you go. Boom. Someone said Zelda. How the fuck do you get Zelda out of this? No one played Link to the Past. It's too old for y'all. It is Undermine too. I didn't think they'd make a sequel. I expected that to be more epic. Norland. <laughs> they got XP punching each other. Alright, he's gonna say it. Rimworld clone! <laughs> Rimworld's the only colony sim I'll play. <laughs> Early access soon. Nice. You're watching the Triple I Initiative. This is too indie for me. Like, we all love indies here, but. This is the line of indies where you cross into what the... <laughs> this was made with drugs. Hella drugs. This is good. This is too much for me. Whereas that one game... Uh, with the Moonlighter devs was too flat in color. This is too colorful. 
What are the devs snorting? Ethereal dust. It's got- it has style. Night's riding dinosaurs, yes. Only a few more roguelites? Those are like the best ones though. Let's fucking go! Secrets and the whispers brought now to the fore. The light of victory casts a long shadow. And in that nighted gloom, your fragile triumph is under siege. It is the DLC. Decency must be defended. Maybe it's not. It seems like it. Righteousness reinforced. Talent trees! What? This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. Virago Crimson Court! New dudes! What? Kingdom. These corrupted lands. Kingdoms? They are yours now. And you are bound Free? Yo, Red Hook. Good job, Red Hook. Free DLC. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega, CEO and co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, a team of developers mainly located in Latin America. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game, Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders program. Now, here's the first look. DD Core taking a break from downvoting good suggestions to be excited. They erased everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people, scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. It feels like the Kingdoms update is the DD board game. But in a video game, which I'm down with. The new hero? We didn't see one, so I, I don't think so, but we'll see. A little processing. I know, man. I'm, I'm not even looking at this. Like, this game's cool. It's got style. Looks cyberpunkish. Like the colors. Very cyberpunk. What was that? I have no idea, man. I gotta see it again. It looks like there's new stuff. Like, there are some new enemies. I would assume a new region if they had CC enemies. Build regions. Ooh. There was the A-bomb logo. Oh, is that A-bomb? On the right? No shot. Broken Roads is a post no shot that was A-bomb. A driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. We all looked at Virago and the Chev, but choices guided by the moral compass and all new it looked like a bomb system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian. Your work, I'm sorry, BB. I'm a hired gun, a jackaroo, a survivor. It happens, man. Like I said, I got jury duty on the shroud update day. I was pissed. And discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. St Formed Story driven. Choices matter, but there's only two endings. And yeah, the A bomb symbol, but upside down. What's the A bomb symbol? Oh, the A. Right? Across Western Australia. I'm assuming it's an enemy because it was um, it was with the other enemies like Brago and Chev. Broken Roads is available now. What's up, Glob? Here's the thing. They add this thing to make it, um, you know, to bring in more DD1 players. They're still not going to play it. They made up their mind. You can't reason with them. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion. 
of reverie. Is this Sworn? Or is this Raven's Watch? Our last hope to overcome oh, it's Raven's Watch. Come to me, friends! That's not enough to kill me! Is this a new chapter? Is this like chapter three? Can't reason with DD1 players now. Playable Virago and Vamp, dude? Sure, I'm down. This a uh, new character? That's a new one. Pretty sure. You can play the horse! Wait, no, is that an, that's a boss. Who want to play the horse? I fear a darker menace lurks deep within the shadows. Free you can't complain. They still will. But yes, I agree. Free update. That's a huge free update, man. People want to give them shit for Binding Blade being very cheap, but paid. Like, you get a whole new fucking game mode for free, man. That was cute. Can I be the ghost mouse? Not that one. Nobody cared who I was till I put on the mask. <laughs> It'd be very painful. BB, did you see the uh, STS2 announcement? This was worth the hype. Oh, it's Cat Quest! Dude, my, <laughs> my girlfriend and I, we, we like these games. All right, we play these together. They're fun. Ah, oh, yes, UE5 returns. And they announced Cat Quest 3 a while back, I think, but... It is kind of a pirate game, you're just, your cats. Morgan Le Fay and Avalon, is that what was added? I hear Morgan Le Fay and I think of fucking Marvel, but... In the upper UI bar with the units? Where? Oh, in the DD2 thing? Alright, well, I mean, we're gonna watch it a few times. It's up on the Triple I YouTube channel, alright. Well, we're gonna finish this first. I've I've heard of this. Got nothing against any of these games. I feel like too many of the indie games do cell shaded pseudo cell shaded graphics, yeah. Yes. Dwarves. I'm timed out of chat? What the f- Man, this stream sucks. <laughs> New weapons. Defensive training removed from the game. I'm kidding, they fixed it. It was a bug. People tried to say it wasn't a bug. Defensive training, giving you like six times the XP was a fucking bug. They got rid of it. Oh, is there a fist weapon? You know what really sells TLS is the, the music. Beastman, the Coven, the Crimson Core Tears. Ooh. Hey, we built our towns on two identical cliffs, but there's a space between us. No, it's not Frostpunk. Ah, thank you, Nightbot, for the HelloFresh plug. <laughs> By the way, if you want to sign up for free HelloFresh, I will play a game of your choice on a stream. <clears throat> I already have a few lined up. The trials are upon us. 
Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn. This wizard of legend too. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Hmm. Lightning. Get There's your first hella fresh meal. Oh, really? Good shit, man. What'd you get? Welcome to Deadsville. Population her. Now these four have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Use Wizard of Legend best roguelike? I know people have problems with it, but I thought it was cool. Incredible. This is a much more modern update. But to win, it will take a champion. A master. No. A legend. A legend. Cool, I'm down. I am down. We'll go over the DD2 announcement, yeah, for sure. We're gonna look at it for probably like a half hour. <laughs> this let's school? Yeah, it is. I'm not chat banned anymore. Oh, the glazed pork chops, yes. Came out great, you have no idea how to cook. See, it's doing its job, right? It's almost impossible to F up unless you like, just leave it in the oven for an extra five minutes. Rotato. Oh yes, we added little things. I'm gonna be honest, chat. Chat room, are you listening? Rotato's mid. Mid. It's an egg, it's not an egg. I'm sorry, the same, like, very similar monsters. Reroll shop simulator. Melee build still a fucking meme. The levels are the same floor. What potato is white? A russet potato that's been peeled. It's on Switch. <laughs> Your flower, and your journey starts here. I need to go up, but first I must go down. Whee! Okay, you would hit the the floor from that height and that speed. I think the gravity on this planet's like 20% less than Earth. On Switch, it'll run like shit. It'll be like 20 FPS. I guess they're porting it to Switch. Reminds you a Wind Waker. Not a bad comparison. Streets of Rogue 2 is a high octane ah. RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. Randomly it's generated? I'm in. Sequel. That's it. Our goal is to create the most open ended and fun sandbox experience ever and evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country, either solo or with friends via online co op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Pick from a That's how you do a sandbox. A Can I just say fuck classes, off to the main quest? With their Boom. Own unique I try. Weird traits. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, <laughs> chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, cultist. ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and uh, investment banker, and many more. Be sneaky or go guns blazing. All right, I'm playing this 100%. Others do your dirty work. Purchase, Get day one purchase. Experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Machine guns, shrink rays, bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats, check. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning ocarina. Uh, you gonna play as the gorilla? 
Necronomicon. I guess the huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, yeah, I'm playing as a cultist. creepy graveyards. Explore this lively world. Then maybe a chef. With its quirky inhabitants and write your own story. Streets of Rogue 2 is coming to Steam early access. This is random, this year. but I'd like a, to your wish list. like a Rogue Legacy co-op update. Like Rogue Legacy 2 is so good. Old world. I don't. I don't like 4X games, man. This game looks great, but I'm not a 4X person. Be a grave robber, yes. Need a, re a reason to pick up Rogue Legacy, yeah. Rogue Legacy Call be too much chaos? It's alright. I'm surprised they're allowed to put a gun in this trailer. Pal World Arena. Let's get out of Let's get out of EA first, Pal World. In darkness, thirty-three souls join together. Thirty-three gather courage. Was a Hades like? His law. We rebel. This isn't Hades, though, right? Bell beasts overwhelm you. There've been so many guns already. Look, man. Bolster your defenses. Looks a little too slow for this type of game. Like it's okay when you dodge if the game slows down, but the kind of combat it's going for needs to be a little faster. Like this is hella slow, right? TLC DLC is this month? Yeah, they, we saw the DD2 thing. We'll talk about it. Yeah, I don't think it's like the vid itself lagging. It's just the... Uh, it's just how the game was made. They have that really annoying Hollow Knight hit stop where the whole game just fucking like freezes. Was triple I? It's like triple A, but for indie devs, like top indie devs. I'll still give it a try. I mean, I'm not. I definitely like these types of games. You know, DM Chris after this. Be like, hey man. When? News posts on DD2 Steam page. Thank you. We'll read this later. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. In a brave new world, anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D with its special... Acquired resources are used to upgrade heroes, also the ends themselves, which can be improved via extensive upgrades. Players will embark on unique quests. Bro, this sounds sick. FPS Cuphead? You know how this game probably got made? It's a lighthouse with Bioshock! <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Because didn't, didn't the original, like, Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Mickey, didn't it lose its copyright finally? This ripped it. Is this V-Rising? I want to play this. I played it for a little bit, but... Like, I really want to sink some time into this. It did? Yeah, see? I don't think they made the game in a few months, but, you know. Any V Rising friends in chat? Steamboat Willie, there you go. Yeah, it was probably made before that, but... It's an interesting... Conspiracy theory. Hold on, let me put my 
me foil. You're a V rising dude? Hell yeah. Audrey? Audrey's husband? Look at him, just... <clears throat> it's not a phase, Mom! It's kind of like Alucard. Is this the... Ca oh, they have a Castlevania crossover, right? A cameo is a hunchback. Yes! Simone! I like how everyone in the the triple I chat doesn't <laughs> doesn't know V Rising. They're just like, this is a new Castlevania. Oh, this is the 1.0 for V Rising. Sick. Battle Simon Belmont. Oh, is the girl Maria? World premiere. Who's the chick? Yeah, there are a lot of crossovers. What's up, Jay? I'm gonna play as the Belmont instead. My daughter. Leave her alone. My pet cat. Ew. Oh, my face. Oh, I just got my teeth replaced. Blah. Don't kill him, kitty. Nice. I kicked that guy once. Is this Prince of Persia? Is this Pop? Konami Indie? No, it was a crossover with V Rising. They're Indie. This girl cannot stop getting into trouble. There's no way he knew she was going to land on the clothesline. There's no way. Oh no, she's getting taken again. I could just pick her up and run the other fucking way, but... What's up, Sion? My daughter, I took all the arrows for you. They're just going to shoot you right after this, but... 100% Prince of Persia, right? Took too many back shots. Good job, chat. <laughs> Why is he purple? It's the aesthetic choice. Dodges all the arrows, then decides to tank him. True. It's the soldier meme, yep. I'm quoting a meme? I didn't know that one. Ah, Prince of Persia. Roguelike. Bye, Jari. Prince of Persia roguelike. Everybody's doing it. Hey, you know if there's a uh, Silk Song news, they're saving it. It's gonna be the last thing if there is it, or if it's even here. The chat would compose the music. That'd be interesting. Little known fact: he did compose music for the Prince of Persia stuff. It was pretty good. It's been a really good set of announcements. Is there no Silk Song? No, it has to be at the end of this, right? This is a recap. We're coming back in a few seconds with exclusive gameplay and live streams on Steam and Twitch. Lurk it? I'm registered with them. Wayne June. Hmm. 
<laughs> no silk song. Hey, welcome to the Triple I Initiative. Um, I hope it was a good show, and then you had some uh, interesting announcements. Um, it was a first for us, so we hope it all went well um, for us and for you. Um, so surprise, we're gonna have a first peek at the gameplay of the rope. Then everyone left. Do this annually, yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go find, go find some stuff. Hi. Where's Red Hooks? You know. Let's go through this together. Okay, so this is the logo. We know this is Red Hook's game because of this. Might be a slight spoiler. Poor defense game with the DD2 assets. That'd be fantastic. Am I sure? Yes. The light of victory it's kind of casts a long shadow. And in that night it gloom. So Jester's placed here. These look like the um, the altar before it's fully upgraded. Oh yeah, look at this. They have B BH is playable. Ah! <laughs> right, Grave robbers in. That's perfect. They start here. Is this the tangle? This looks like the tangle, right? Yeah. Edie board game. No, this is the new mode. Helene at the top. She is there. What are all the campsites around? If you haven't played the Darkest Dungeon board game, they have stuff like this. Like, this is exactly how it's built. A standalone campaign on Twitter. Okay. Return of Wolf, maybe. What's up, Kuro? City Builder 4X mode? I hope not. Home for new regions, not just enemies. Never played the board game? It's on Tabletop Sim as a free mod. But let's see. We have a couple campsites. Are these just three enemies, or is this elite? And then we have some symbols here. I don't know what this is, obviously. No one knows. But you have like a yellow mark, and then the mountain, you have a blue mark. So like, and Jester, and then Highwayman. So do you pick up these characters, or is that where they're stationed? Isn't the TTS mod like half the game? It might be now, yeah. You only play the demo? I think they added to it. I might be wrong. Like quest? It could be quest. I'm just wondering what the difference here is in color. Also, Red Hook, these are not the same size. This blue one is substantially smaller than this yellow one. Mm -hmm. Day 23. Day 23 and they're just leaving the inn? Your fragile triangle. Like a fetter. Another fetter. So the biomes are scattered around. This looks like the sprawl again. I am is under siege. So I guess you have to pick up food. I don't see where food is on the thing. Maybe it's highlighted. You are correct. Okay, so you go here, and then you have the regular battle system. The end's on fire. Nope. Is this a DLC? There's a free mode update. Yes, it's DLC. Watch all your DD videos. Thanks for the work and content. No problem, Bob. Thanks for watching, man. Darkest Kingdom on the top left. Might mean you can name it. Ooh. That camping back? It might be. Be defended. Uh, regular fighting still looks good. Hold the line. Decent. Ah. We didn't open with point blank shots, so we could open with hold the line. They must be defended. Interesting. Wrong. Righteousness. Okay. Reinforce. So you still get items. You still get your in items. Still the same like inventory. Here's the the tree. I'm assuming these are the same passives. This is probably like a positive quirk unlock. <clears throat> 
Man arms out sped him, also possible. Sharp shot doesn't have the speed upgrade anymore. Need to gather provisions, I imagine. Had high hopes for console release announcement. That's rough. I know, I'm sorry, man. I, I was really hoping console drop would be good too. I'm assuming there's like stress resist here. Like bonus HP disease resist or something? I don't know. PD1 mode for two? Kinda. Disconnect to the ending cinematic of two? They said victory casts a long shadow, so I'm assuming so. So it's like you you beat DD2 and then the world like is still messed up. Skill tree per run basis? I would assume so. That would make the most sense, right? Honestly, if if this is a replayable like campaign grind type of mode, I don't want these to save. Secondary mode or rework of the way it is a secondary mode. And it's free. This is free, by the way. This is a free update. It says in upgrades. Yeah, it's up here, but I'm talking about the physician. This looks like a skill tree. Oh, you know what? Is this like the hospital? No, I don't know. Who knows what the fuck this means? Who knows? This might be actually, though. This might be the, the in doctor. See, when I saw physician, I thought, um, plague doctor path. I mean, it's green. It's got disease crap, right? I know, no more wagon. DD2 worth getting? Of course. Hurts not as good as DD1. That's just because there are some DD1 purists out there. Good call. Yeah. Paracelsus screen. Look, man. Look. D2 complicated compared to 1. The battles have a little more depth because you can't stun spam, but um, I don't think it's too hard. If you played the first one, the second one's not going to be much different. Probably too hard to pick up. Rename the physician path, maybe. Different ends provide you with upgrade patches. Thing. We're already halfway through this trailer, man. I need to see more. Is there something here? Hold on. These are different colors. So is this like... Weird. Uh, provisions. So probably trinkets. Oh, trinket price down. Wagon upgrades down. Um, in items, I guess. This is... Combat items? This might be combat items. Traps? Oh yeah, that's the trap symbol. The tinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The per run upgrade. Give you the ability to recuperate. D2 has less messy numbers to keep track of. Yeah. The fact that the evils of the mountain have been purged does not mean that we have that what was created by those evils disappears with them. That's a good point. I'll think that the performance is based on that adventure in traveling through the valleys kingdoms. Yeah. I, I'd be down with that. The valleys and kingdoms. They announced a date just this year. Is there an end boss day limit? I don't know. Mastery trainer. Of course, this is where all your points are going. What are these symbols, though? Is this like hero level weapon level? Hero level skill level? This is skill mastery, right? This really is the DD board game. So these look like hero levels. Um, this is probably a path pick. Uh, this could be skill slots or skill levels. This is like weapon strength, like gear strength probably. And then up here, not quite sure what that would be. Lots of some kind on the right. They, they look like skill slots, and I'll tell you why. Because this is a little mastery symbol, and this is like the skill box. Give me multiplayer? I don't know. It'd be nice. Facilities come back in some way? Seems that way. Have to protect inns. They could work as facilities. Oh, yeah. So you go around putting out fires for a bit. Ever played the DD board game? I know, but I'm for the few people that have. You're excited? Nice, man. There's five this of these. Realm must stand fast against those yeah, and this keeps changing. Poison it. I would hate this map right here. 
like this. This is like the worst wield split in DD1. This is horrible. Kind of want this now? Same, dude. I'd play the fuck out of this. Why are there two mountains? Different map types? Yeah. Yeah, the board game is amazing. I love it. Lots of mountain and shroud on this map. Yeah, there was one where they were surrounded by the tangle at the start. Like this one? Just casual tangle. Looks like... This one has a lot of loops. So you can go like this, come back, or like this. Like that and come back. Two confession bosses? Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, go fight... You know, FF twice. <clears throat> Countess as a boss. Poison. We gotta see that last thing with the enemies. Yeah. So this... Y'all were right. This was a fan requested thing, by the way. Abomination coming back as an enemy. But now it's an enemy type. It's a tribe. Rago. Surprised they picked the Chev. I guess the Chev's the biggest asshole. No new biomes? It'd be a shame if there's not, because we have three factions. They could use some biomes. They look so good. They look fantastic. Chev's like, yeah, bitch, about to death store to your people in this hit. The Coven, the Crimson Courtiers, and the Beastmen. So it's going to be... The coven will be like Virago and then the, the little witch. I don't know what her name is. Maybe a cultist witch too. Virago going to start with three dodge plus and two block every match. The blood's already in the game. Yeah. Mosquito aristocrat vampires are back. Crone. That's it. There you go. Blight, bleed, and burn. They are kind of symbolizing that, right? But it makes more sense that you got green veins, you got was it the A bomb thing? This is more um This be blight too, huh? I wonder if Crimson Curse is coming back. Wheel people are called the Coven? No. That's just that's how they're classifying them. Double crit stunned by the Crimson Pricks. Yeah, maybe it's just all the wield enemies. Maybe they're just coming back. They have some fire base moves. It's possible because you have red, green, and orange. So that'd be like bleed, blight, and burn. All right, Miskatonic, as the resident expert, what's do the uh, do the wield enemies have a faction name? I know they're like eldritch and human, but is that it? Oh, they even balance the curse. They would make it actually be a downside the whole time. You know, almost flesh was seared with fire, and faith symbolized with burn. Makes sense. Axe Coven. Oh! I'm really glad you're here. Daughters of the Hidden Moon. That's so sick. One tap by Tree Branch. Ah, oh, yes. Any Crimson Curse to cure your horrible other disease? I know, right? Mmm, I have the Black Plague in, in the fits. Mention a few. Interesting. Wonder if these enemies will be in the regular mode as well. I think, I don't think they should put these in the regular mode. Maybe the beast people. That'd be okay. Yeah, this is a bomb symbol, but upside down. But the, the reason I don't want all of these in the base game is for one, you know, you still need a reason to play the new mode. They could work in Tangle. Two, without adding a new region, having three extra tribes is so awful. It's so much bloat. Like, you can't prep for anything. You just roll down the road and it's like, oh, it could be military, could be pillagers, could be gaunt, could be faction, could be beastmen. It's too much. Could cook three regions with this. We're all going to the sluice. Wait for you at the end. Who go to which area? Um, 
Maybe the Beastmen of the Sprawl. These dudes, who the hell knows? And then these guys are the... Uh, Fetter? Right, so Fetter, Sprawl, and I don't want to say Tangle, but maybe Tangle. Could be Collector. Oh no, like Resistance, but Themed? I mean, sure, that's fine, but again, that's like, that's too crammed. There's too much stuff. We see Sluice on the board. I don't remember seeing Sluice. They have their own trinkets. Yeah. That's the end of the trailer. Kingdoms 2024. They don't say. All right, should we go through again? Let's go super slow. Check the description, it says the name of the factions. I saw, or people have been telling me. Maybe they're heroes now. More info over the next months. Okay, this, this intro is too long. Bro, they eat up 20 seconds of this one minute trailer with the intro and then like another 20 seconds with the outro. There's only like 30 seconds of content in this thing. Come on, Red Hook. I don't see sluice. I only see the four base regions and mountains. The Shroud. It looks like you can make uh, two teams of four, essentially, and rotate people. Just like DD2. Okay, dude. I mean, they, they look like quests. Oh, interesting. So this quest turned... Uh, this went from yellow to blue when they decided not to go through that region, right? Look at this. Because down here is yellow. Check bunny, Bounty Hunter at the toop. I see him at the toop. And then, yeah, see, it comes back and it turns blue. So just quests. Permanent character. I'm sure everyone wanted that. Like, Red Hook is really trying to meet everyone halfway. And I appreciate them for that. Like, okay, you really want Crusader? We'll bring him back. You really want a different campaign mode with no driving? We brought it back. It's free too, dude. Who the fuck's gonna be mad at this? Why no vessel or occultist? You probably get to pick your characters, honestly. No playable A bomb. He's a say this is meeting us at our place, pretty much, dude. Might play only this if they play it right. Same. I will not play in a regular run again if this is good. Will they add Crimson Curse? They might. Cultus is missing. Probably going to pick only 8. Yeah. 8 out of like 14. I'm wondering if there's like expanding the selection. Oh, hold up. I didn't even see this. Can't really see it because of the bar here, but there's um there's the normal in interface. So you have whatever this... This is the upgrade thing, the buildings, or whatever this is. Provisions, probably mastery, wagon stuff, and then uh, pick a spot. This should be the main mode. It kind of feels like it should have went this way. Why isn't Crusader free and in the game at launch? That's what they say. And they're like, why did I have to pay for Crusader? Well, you got Flag for free when he was DLC. They weren't going to bring Crusader back originally. I wonder if Red Hook idea is campaigns equal free, characters equal paid. That would be okay. That would be okay. Increase the roster size. I don't want it to be too big. I don't want to have the full kit. You know, I want to be able to use eight. I think eight's a good number. This is post campaign. I hope you don't have to beat the game to unlock this because no one, no one's going to like that. 
You upgrading the ends for the whole run? Seems that way, yeah. Curious if they'll end up adding Musketeer Arbalos. That'd be nice. Hope Arb comes back, same. It was just denial. Why not? Because this is a new cool game mode and locking it behind like a 30, 40 hour campaign, like for doing the first five confessions. Not cool. It's just, it will not go over well. What's up, Ari? In fact, if they try and do that, I will push very hard to make sure that it's just open right away. Lock behind Act 1? That's okay. Like, if it's after Denial, that's fine. Most people that bought it never finished it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Imagine you bought this game, you got to, like, Act 3, pre-nerf Obsession, you're like, wow, this sucks, and then you put it down, and then you're like, I want to come back and play this game mode, and... You can't because you have to wait and play the, the regular game first. Kingdoms can be played independently of the game's original confession. Nice. Filter the shitters? Nah. I want everyone to enjoy the content. It's a single player game. There's no leaderboards. Playing the main game is still a better way of learning. Yeah, of course. They only had musketeers. But there's an infinite mode, I'm not sure. After the second be cool, but after the fifth, yeah. No, it's too much. I think Bounty Hunter's gonna be permanent in this. What's up, Ranger? What'd you miss? The new DD2 mode. A leaderboard and a battle pass. I wouldn't mind a leaderboard for this. I want to see how well I do. Bounty Hunter had to be tuned down to be permanent. If all of the other characters have their mastery versions, they'll be closer to Bounty Hunter. Not seeing a sluice, same. I see a Virago. I see a Beastman. Look at the A bomb came back as a faction. They unlocked Derp's Hellion BF. All right, I'm going to leave it here for a sec. I have to use the bathroom. And then we'll come find some more stuff about it. So talk amongst yourselves. And then we'll discuss. New enemies on the regular mode? They haven't said. BRB. There's nothing to rename right now. Visuals in STS2 look a bit goofy compared to the first. Visuals in STS1 weren't stellar either. This is Musketeer propaganda. I have no idea. Let me check Discord. Not getting blown up as hard as I thought I would be. I should have put in DD Cord that I was uh, 
streaming this. I can't believe it's another STS clone. Let me uh, get some music. Hold up. Nope, not Loop Hero. Let's find out where this is. <clears throat> we watched the trailer. New game mode challenges players in a desperate race against the clock to find and defeat a monstrous threat before it overwhelms and destroys the kingdom. Journey across the land to gather resources, battle evil incursions, all while defending a network of safe haven inns. Fired resources are used to upgrade heroes and also the inns themselves, which can be improved via extensive upgrade trees. Players will embark on unique quest lines and fight back against three new monster factions, the Coven, Beastmen, and Crimson Courtiers. Are there no... No, there are regular enemies. We saw Pillagers. Kingdoms can be played independently of the game's original Confessions campaign. Not much, huh? Looks amazing. The abomination is now against us. Remove stress, it makes the game unplayable. Never change, Steam. Have a weak limit or something similar. One of the pictures there on day 23. Look, I need content, okay? He's a background character. I mean, we got reworks on Sharp Shot and stuff. Discussions. Sweet for crappy roguelike game mode game, more roguelike gameplay. Back at first, DD. Damn. Uh, so it's XCOM. I would love Darkest Dungeon XCOM, man. More interesting than the base game. <clears throat> I think it's funny how the original DD2 thing, like the original DD2 uh, confessions mode, was them trying to. Kind of streamline the first game because only like five percent of players beat the first game even though everyone talks like they're big shit and so like we're gonna make it easier to beat and progress we're gonna give you more narrative and we're just gonna make it look nicer and spice it up and have a slightly new combat system so really they they kind of like took what they thought was good in dd1 and just amplified it and then everyone's like we don't want that red hook. And so they make this and it's free. And then you get assholes like this. You'd actually finish DD1. Negative relationships. I know, right? Eat the first game in your imagination. Nice. What else can we look at? <clears throat> Second game's beating you. I'm sorry, man. What's wrong with you? You're typing too fast, man.
Eric, what's going on with your emotes, man? You got the logo crest of the mode. I mean, the wheel makes sense. What do they do to the Iron Crown, dude? It's not five points. I mean, it's got five big points, but then it's got four small points. That's not enigmatic or ubiquitous. More the style of DD1. I wouldn't even say that. Is that a permanent game mode? I think it's individual, like small campaigns. I honestly think that, uh, I got nothing. Mountain and skulls. Like, I see what they are. I just don't know what they represent. Besides, I guess the mountain, right? I know, man. Mod support. Would have been nice. It's fine. Is there anything... anything else I'm looking at discord so from Red Hooks discord introducing kingdoms a free standalone campaign mode coming to darkest dungeon 2 later this year protect and nurture your kingdom by defending safe havens and purging dangerous environments of insidious threats upgrade ends to bolster defenses embark on unique quest lines fight back against three new factions more info in the coming months I really think, I don't know what I think actually, the man I give a release date, I don't know anything. Honest to goodness, just Butcher Circus all over again, I doubt it. Who doesn't have enough replayability, I think those will solve that, that's the hope. Bring me a gameplay reveal, did you not see this? I mean, they have the trailer. But other than that, not really. Winter release. Yeah, months. Plural. Might be an end of the year thing, honestly. But yeah, I didn't know this was coming. No insider knowledge, nothing. Y'all got my honest reaction. No sound? I'm listening to music. Mid Q3. <clears throat> I definitely think they're gonna try and get it out before the holidays to help sell the game. Did I use the mixed review bombing? Or did I see the mixed review? Yeah. I did. I'm very well aware of it. Christmas doesn't sound right. It's the month where companies try and sell new stuff, not give stuff for free. Well, you have to buy the game to get the mode. Pipe down peasants is music, yes. It'll be after Path works. That's cope. Massive copium. Greedy, you need more, same. Months of wait is painful. Yeah, I mean, at least they, they gave us something to look forward to. When are they reworking other classes? Who knows? Is there anything else we should look at? You guys want to see the, uh... Let me see. Look at some more trailers. All right, what should we look at? Want to see Raven's Watch? Important question, whether I have a new character with a musket or a character with a bow? Bow. Every time. I'm not too excited about Pop, honestly. STS2 has a Steam page.
This looks better than STS-1. Also, Balor about to become like a million sub YouTube channel overnight, dude. What is AAA? It's like AAA, but uh, for indies. Want to rework to take their time? Because you don't want high man rework happening. I mean, that was one, one, they had like one mess up in the midst of a lot of good stuff. But that mess up was pretty catastrophic, so. We'll check the last spell DLC again. Necrobinder. Osti. All right. I might leave the silent main to become a necro main. Thoughts? What do they do to Ironclad? Who knows? It'll be interesting to see if STS catches heat for not changing the formula enough. Right? Because this is just like graphics update DLC. No muscles on the necro. She's just bones, dude. Why is Arbalest a fan favorite or musketeer? I I don't think she is, honestly. And Musketeer's the copy. Arbalest is the original. Watcher main? I'm not Watcher main. What the fuck? It won't? Probably not. Oh. Hey, buddy. On your travels, you stumble upon a dark, amorphous polyp. Okay. I mean, the similar, or the formula looks very similar. Floors, HP, gold, three pots, the map. Like, this is the same game, but better. They rework. Paz? Not yet. Probably since Musketeer is an Arbalest reskin, plus came late, plus has worse COM trinket. True. STS2? Yeah. Even the trinkets are the same? Oh, the relics? Yeah, what is this? Pen nib up here? Sneko eye? Silence ring? I just want to pay money for the same game. I'm sure it'll be amazing, honestly. I'll play the fuck out of it. But they made a new OST with the new DLC on the last spell, sure. The entire live stream available to rewatch. What, mine or theirs? Yeah, theirs is on their uh, YouTube channel. Watch it after my stream is over, okay? Don't leave. Don't leave. Um, 33 Immortals? I don't even remember what that was. Oh, I think I do, actually. So what were the winners here? STS, obviously. I feel bad for the, uh... The Risk of Rain fans. I thought this DLC was going to be big. But it's just, like... A little thing. Since C2 is about the apocalypse and we have two bosses that align with two of the horsemen, Death and Warlord. Ooh. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. That's a good way to go. Australian Fallout. You're home for a new Dead Cells game? Well, we're talking about Risk of Rain, okay? Dead Cells doesn't need to make a new game. They just get money from crossing over and everything. Info about the DLC would have been nice. Yeah. I'm out of coffee. I kind of want more coffee. Jowls it out. This not my type of game, but you know, cute. This, I I don't know what the hell is going on. This is a uh, re edgy five me. Didn't put the dev update in the initiative. Just free stuff. Okay. There's a new dev diary. Is it on um this? You watch this too? Am I a React streamer now? Welcome to our first Dev Diary of 2024. I'm Bruno, and today I'm going to serve as your tour guide through some of the treacherous stages coming with our new expansion, Seekers of the Storm. 
But first, we have a bit of a surprise we've been eager to share with you. The team has been working hard on a new content update. This update brings a new stage, a suspiciously familiar looking skin, and two new artifacts. If you've ever dreamed of did they show the artifacts did? army, then this is the update you've been waiting for. Seriously, just so <laughs> Lemurians, they're killing the Grove Tender. It's coming soon for everyone. <laughs> yes, everyone. We're excited for you to give it a swing. For those of you intrepid enough to stick around, let's continue our Say so yes, and I agree every few, few minutes for fair Lynch use. I know, right? False savior, a creature it, born of desperation and It's a bit harder for me for yeah, something like this because I don't know Risk of Rain as well as most people. So, like, I'm, I'm watching to learn. Travel the path of the Colossus through a series of stages. Those who survive and yeah, drive the transit bus. No problem, man. Most drive safe. Challenge. There will be a few ways to start down the path. Like roguelike like vampire survivors. Just setting off. When you think about it, isn't every game vampire death. survivors? Take a second to consider if you're up. These right. biomes look good. Yeah, stages. But despite the ever-present danger of Petrocore Five, there has always been a beauty to it. We wanted to open up new areas that capture. Is she a woolly to narrate these? Magic. With new terrain, you got a much better speaking voice. No offense. Crumbling structure. I said no offense to the end, so no one can be mad. a fresh take on the classic Risk of Rain, you know and love. Oh, it, yeah, here. the Lemurian thing's an artifact. This crater ah, seems makes sense a bit now. foreboding to me, as if there were some sort of catastrophic spike-themed explosion. Hey, Bruno, I don't hate anyone, man, except well, for uh, that might like be a one person. For another day. Welcome to the shattered abodes. The Lemurians that once called this place home appear to be long gone. All that's left behind is a crumbled husk of their former. You're the one person now. The you one person's my father. <laughs> line of sight across the central crater. A certain railgun wielding survivor would adore taking fights from the high ground to cover their it's team. Dirt. It's not but dirt. The clear line of sight cuts both ways. You'll find that some high damage early bosses are particularly challenging to evade. Survivors will need to carefully plan their paths through the decrepit architecture to avoid being eviscerated by a rogue wandering the stage looks cool or a I think that's open accurate stone titan wait a second i think i see a familiar albeit terrifying face yep some fans will know this next one introducing hey, echo Child. Stop it. don't be disarmed by no dude frolicking skip this ghostly creature brings nothing but doom the teleporting bundle of death is somehow every bit as dangerous as the rest of its family, despite being a fraction of the size. Now that we've gotten away from that glowing monstrosity, children are back, so it seems. Another neat feature coming with Seekers of the Storm. For a long time, looping your run hasn't given you much more to look at. Well, apart from these adorable porters, we wanted to make that experience a little more special. With the I never loops. I never saw these. Who are bold enough to loop will be greeted by some unfamiliar stage variants. These will certainly spice up the look of those stages. Okay. But the changes go beyond that. Often you'll find new passages are available that were previously caved in. We don't okay. want to spoil all of that right now. Got to leave some places. Yeah, we to saw story. the DD2 trailer. But hopefully, this will make the prospect of looping even more exciting. As we come closer to having a launch date, we'll dive back in with more information gosh, about new survivors. If you're feeling excited. Make sure to head over no, he's to poop Steam instead of and loop. Wishless Seekers of the Storm. What? Bye for now. Bye for now. All right, bye, dude. All right, interesting. Interesting, interesting. That's cool. We get new stuff. <laughs> a current update, Devotion. Players will explore a new map, Verdant Falls, which will have a night variant, Seekers of the Storm. The free update for anyone that has Risk of Rain 2 will come out soon. This is so satisfying. New music? There has to be new music, man. <sighs> First ever artifact that's fun. I like glass. Just because I'm impatient. All right, what else? Dino Lords? Let's watch this again. Glass is boring. It is boring, but you, a lord of England, still enjoy it. The land. 
If anybody will ever every manage making a modded class when the workshop's added, people will find a way. Especially if you put boobs on it, they'll find a way. I only play command. I don't play command, you fucking asshole. Artifacts are either boring or bullshit for the most part. Only the bravest leaders, the ones who can defend their strongholds, the ones who can raise an army. Right, I'm gonna be a raptor main. All my dudes are gonna be on raptors. This is the only class I'm playing, whatever this is. They're agile, they can jump the walls. They're fierce, nightmare main material. Oh, that's the other thing, too. We did. I said this. I don't know how many people caught it, though. Ghost Ship's publishing it, so it's the DRG dev devs. The only issue you have with our hero shrines? Oh, if they made a new class, they probably wouldn't. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, oh, this. I want to play this. This this is an instant buy. Streets of Rogue Two is a high octane RPG sandbox. Crusaders on dinosaurs, yep. Fast, randomly generated open world. With this <clears throat> ambitious sequel, our goal is. It wasn't to too sure on the graphics at first, but then, and like driving cars, that's kind of not for me. Like I I don't really care about that kind of stuff. But then, just procedurally generated, multiple ways to win, uh, random classes. Who hand feeds people corn, man? Come on. That doesn't happen. No one likes corn. Unless it's summertime and you grill it. Like shucked corn? Green corn? Gross. Disgusting. I don't care about driving cars. It's not for me. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their You like corn? Bad one. Add another one to the bad taste. Bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, I hate corn. I do. Detective, ninja, I love vegetables. I fucking hate corn. And werewolf, and, uh, investment banker? And game players full control of the game. Yeah. Be sneaky or go guns blazing. The other thing too, this is co-op. I would love to play with you guys. Get inventive and experiment. Real corn on the cob, better than anything. Yes. Each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast violent stardew. I don't think there's any romancing. Is there co-op? I thought there was. Shrink rays, bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats. Check. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning. Kind of a missed opportunity. If there's no co-op. More games need co-op. Uh, check. I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. Explore this lively world. A, let me see the Steam page here. Inhabitants. And How confused the narrator sounds. Story. Yeah, this is uh, Streets of Rogue this is definitely an indie narrator. Let me just crack year. a bunch of jokes. The game to your wish list. Now, developed by Matt Dabrowski. Is this made by one person? It is. Wishlist it. Tiny Build Studios? I thought that was the publisher. Why can't you have that talent? I mean, Stardew was made by one person at first, wasn't it? CD players only enjoy driving stagecoaches. Perhaps. And Shrouded. I like this game. I wish you guys did too. Definitely needs more content, but... Yeah. The Gorilla. That's yeah, just, this looks fun. This looks like a bunch of goofy fun. People explode into bloody messes. Bellatro is one dev. Of course it was. You're essentially playing solitaire. It's only a one person game. I try to watch Bellatro, man. It's just, it's not for me. The question is, do I put time into STS 1 to prepare for 2? I don't know. I don't know if I can break into the STS content market. Not a good stream game. I agree. 
This is where I'd be, Chad, just out in the woods, off the grid, but with, you know, internet access. When DD2, what, like, me playing it or the update? The update? We don't know. It's sometime this year. <clears throat> oh, look at these man-eating plants. Also, they're growing pot. Nice. Two seems just like one. What, this? One. Playing, of course. I don't know. Is DD2 releasing? You know what it is, honestly? I'm not going to say it. Months is in plural, yes. Who sleeps on the beach like that, man? Yeah, I wonder what the progression is going to be in this. Don't bait you. All I'm saying is, I wish DD2 was in the oven for like three more months before 1.0. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. You do that? You get sunburnt? Yeah, like I would die. My pasty Irish ass, dude. Hope I have another interview with the devs. I can. I can try and set one up, sure. I'm going to wait till they have a little more info. Because, I mean, I already know if I ask them right now, they'd be like, Coming soon. That's it. The suffering affliction if I read the forums. <clears throat> when did DD2 release? May 8th. <coughs> ask Chris about the Hellion picture. I will. I'll ask him again. I can see myself playing this with uh, my girlfriend and stuff too. Just take it easy, you know, grow and stuff and then go blow stuff up. I said that last time. I asked him in a DM, I think. <clears throat> Ask Chris to read the fanfic? No. Hacking. Hacker mans. Oh, yeah. What was that? Steampunk Metroidvania? Does the DD board game have Grave Robber? Yes. <clears throat> <coughs> I go dig it out, but I'm too lazy. Gestalt, yes. <clears throat> Oh, why am I so... I didn't take my allergy pill. That's what it is. I'll be right back. <clears throat> <laughs> This is like my favorite song from uh, Gillis. DD1 board, or DD board game is the first game, yeah. Alright, bye, miss. Take care, man. Thanks for hanging. This is cool. I definitely play this. Play a lot of this. Give Miss VIP. Echo's coughing. He's like, Government issued Audrey. You okay, Echo? Need to sniff some dust. 
right, what's another one to look at? Um, TLS again. Watch the TLS one. So this is just like the the original game right there. Ready for Elden Ring? I don't like Elden Ring. You like it? Great. So you get one new map. This looks kind of like the first level expanded. You get to play dwarves? Is that just a background or what? I can't see it because of the details, but I'm assuming it's a background, then I'm assuming this is a new tree. Carnage. Whenever at least five enemies are hit with a single attack, one move point, 10 damage for two turns. How often can you hit this? Like, does this stack a bunch? It must, right? So you just go in there with like a big ax and then swing it twice. We're at a war shield. This looks like a gauntlet, right? The new, a new weapon. So you punch him a couple times, get a bunch of buffs, and then just steamroll after that. And what is this? This looks like another glove. This is a shield. Uh, this looks like a cannon, dude. Shoot that thing. War shield. Oh, it does damage. I guess that's what it is. It's not a gauntlet. It is a war shield, right? That's interesting, like a defensive weapon. I like that. So you can go even more defensive builds. This is one of the few games that actually rewards defensive playstyles, which I like. Favorite last spell weapon? Oh. Dagger? And maybe rifle and then tome power staff. I have trouble with power staff, but it is cool. Like, if you get some movement or whatever, like some extra range on power staff, then it becomes insane. But it's a hard weapon to play because you have to know when to actually kill the enemy with the teleport or when to just let it go stun. Pistol's hella fun too. That's right. Wait, perfect guard. Whenever the heroes hit, the next war shield skill gets plus damage. Go stand out there. You love buff women, true. Just go stand out there with your war shield. Like this is almost something that I'm curious. Does this have to be equipped like main like? That weapon set is main handed, or can you put two war shields, like one on your first and one on the backup, and stack this? Total damage is huge, yeah. Using a war shield skill decreases this bonus by 3% for each action point. So you, it's. It like slowly drops off, too. Is there a limit on this? Not getting hit during the enemy's turn decreases the bonus by half. So as long as you're out there just getting hit by stuff. All right, King, take care. Interesting. <clears throat> so probably be good to keep like one little thing alive. Like you stack it with spiky counter. That could be good. Yeah. You go poisonous with this too, or whatever the like poison shit around you is, maybe. And this has poison damage. These like special rocks, statues, <clears throat> mostly the same enemies. Looks like a war shield skill. Is this another war shield thing? It says new weapons. Is this the gauntlet? This looks like a fist. They hit it and like stuff drops. New steam post gives info. Okay, we'll take a look. That stuff looks cool. Oh, 
Dude, it is like a, a rocket launcher. This is a rocket jump, right? Woo! Emergency tunnel. Allowing the hero to teleport to the haven? For three mana, is that OP? That's kind of OP. It has to be like 15 mana or some shit. This might just be the, the first one, but like the first iterations. Look how big this is. That's hella funny. A two is this a two-handed shield? You kids don't even know what a rocket jump is? No way. Yeah, teleport back, go to a warp tile, move around. Especially if you can teleport anywhere into the base, not just like the edge of it. <clears throat> then you just drop on the warp tile and then warp somewhere else. Really help on something like uh What's that map? Elder Lake or whatever? The hard ass one? Pickaxe? Yo, I'm playing a pickaxe. Plus free update. Ooh, see so a bunch of stuff. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. New map, new race, new weapons, new items, stone metals free update. Runenberg is an eight night map. So Elder Lake is still the uh, the, uh, the big one. <clears throat> Glenwald boss night. Uh, one side was randomly generated each run. Ooh. Like the walls? That'd be interesting. I mean, if only one side's randomly generated, which one is the real one? Who knows? The rune stones, they're made of different types, ice, fire, poison. Destroying them inflicts damage on nearby monsters without harming heroes. Yo, melee not freaking shafted. Oh, so this is like a free trap every night. Hate Elder looks so much. Maps long. Dude, that, that map is a marathon. And that is a straight up marathon. Dwarf statue. Four strange statues stand on the map of Runenberg, with two of them close to your haven and two of them quite far away. But when night begins, what, do they they help you? Yeah, like the ghosts come out? This time around, instead of big terrifying boss swirling from the mist on your final night, dwarf statues will activate and use their mystic skills to empower a gigantic wave of enemies. Dwarven statues gradually be activated and corrupted rune stones will randomly appear on the map as you resist against the horde of monsters growing bigger at each new turn. Dwarf statues will make things even more difficult for you by empowering the monsters and them around them targeting the corrupted rune stones. Oh, is that 60 damage? Holy shit. And one movement? Yikes. Having humans may not be enough to defeat the mist, so the dwarves decide to join in new haircuts, new faces, but also new and small sizes. Get to know your friends on the battlefield. Booting up an EL run is like saying I'm going to be here for a week. It really is, dude. Food your order was an hour late? I'm so sorry, man. If only they ordered or they had HelloFresh in EU, I know, right? Get your meal the next week. Between Monday and Wednesday. Got some HelloFresh too. I'm gonna start cooking it. We got a box for the sponsorship. I could use my own code. I didn't because I'm a dumbass. Minus money. Ask your lovely friend standing next to you to throw you across the map. You can toss dwarves. What? That's just funny. <clears throat> May I remember a particular scene between a human and a dwarf? Who threw Gimli? Was it Aragorn or was it Legolas? It was Aragorn, right? What's up, Amuga? The boxcar.
Mm-mm. And a dwarf tossing. Look at my muscles. Three AP? Disables but I mean, is body armor a bad trade-off for three fucking AP? Probably not, dude. Aragorn needed Gimli? Okay. Bro, is that broken? It's deep in the tree, but holy shit. Just three AP on dwarves. You know what? I guess I think it is. It might be bounce. So here's why. Dwarves are throwable. So you don't get to throw them into combat. So like the melee stuff isn't as helpful because you don't have body armor. Maybe it's good. Yeah, it's it's definitely a range a range perk. Like you get the this one in the dwarf tree and you get like the sniper tree. Really good. I think. Dwarves are smaller but also tougher. This will be reflected on their stats as well as they have less movement. Okay, so you have to throw them. When you start a run on Runenberg, you have one, at least one dwarf. On other maps, you have a chance to get them. Cool. New weapons. Gauntlet, melee weapon that morphs into a ranged weapon. What? What? War shield, melee weapon designed to let you tank damage. Then unleash as retaliation. Cannon, extremely powerful long range weapon paired with a risk of overheating. Is there overheat synergy? Like more damage and overheat? <clears throat> Throwing him gives momentum? That'd be funny. Throw him with like a sword. The question is too, like. Let's say you overheat your cannon and then swap to your second weapon. Is that gonna, does that cost you anything or no? And does it cool down when it's on your second slot? New item stone medals in the same spirit. We're also adding items called stone medals, letting you equip brand new perks specifically created for it. Stone medals can be equipped just like any other trinket on your heroes. So you can put perks on trinkets. Yeah, that's sick. They're also new perks. They're not on the tree. Oh, damn. Oh, are they updating the... I, I want them to streamline the... Uh, the... The... Essence shop. Who is it? Freuda? The Shodden. Shodden, right? Comment section on IGN's video of DD2 Kingdom Now makes you want to... Really? Is it bad? Let's read it. Yeah, like the, the Shodden shop or whatever, just both both of them. Both of the up like the meta upgrade things are just a pain in the ass to scroll through. Let's see. Eight bucks on the 24th. Oh, that's so soon. Yes, I love it. Definitely probably the few days before we'll start playing AT or TLS again. <gasps> Amazing. This is what a Steam discussion should look like, right? People just enjoy instead. Um. Dragon's Dogma, bro, IGN just fucking milks it. Like, the final preview, Dragon's Dogma 2, the Dragon's Dogma 2 review. Darkest Dungeon 2 review, I should watch this at some point. My very, very limited React content, Lamau. Echo, stop being an asshole, man. He keeps attacking his poor brother cat. Are there more fat and fur fat and furious movies or Dragon Dogma reviews? Good question. 
Dragon's Dogma 2 is all about family. All right. Now we're cooking. Cooking with Eldritch Fire. Most needed procedural map generation. Switch. Community's making me sad. Teaser was awesome. The game mode looks exciting. Everyone quit bitching. I'm excited. Who is bitch? Who? Is there going back from this? Fantastic. It's pretty cool. Can't wait to see how Bear Taffy plays it. Man. I love Bear. But there are other Darkest Dungeon streamers. <laughs> Patiently waiting for consoles. Crimson Court. Kevin and the Abominations. Yes. Really, who is who is complaining here? Besides the console thing, which is a, a rightful concern. I know, I, I understand people are bitching there, but here? Are they? I don't see it. Game ever gonna come go to any console? Kingdom of what? Eight characters? You people don't know! Okay, we found we found the complaining. See, it's always funny when when people make this point. It doesn't compare to the first game. They didn't want to make the first game. Which OST is this? The last spell. Yeah, they have like an A bomb faction. They're beastmen. Yeah, DD two was never supposed to be DD one. Where the trailer shows signs of Avon, I'll show you. Like Jurassic Park. How'd you do this? It is meant to be different, but it feels like something's missing. I hate these really open-ended statements, like right here. When you when you don't when you don't explain it, you just go, "This feels off," or "Something's missing." You put the onus on like the reader to figure out what's wrong. Like you're already suggesting that there's something wrong, even though they can't, even though they can't tell you what it is. It makes you think there's something wrong, and you start looking for all the bad stuff. I hate that. Don't fix something that's not broken. Uh sadness. It's not you, it's me pretty much. I know, I have no idea what, so it's a 2 out of 10. Nice people are... Let, we'll have to see if this person ever responds. First Josephine, yep. First game is too easy, 0 of 10. It's fine to not like something without having a certain reason, but don't give a negative review. Yeah. But that's what they always say. It's easier to get like negativity out of people than positivity. Also, for the person asking, this is the, the A-bomb. Yeah, like a beast faction. Beastman faction. People who want DD2 to be DD1 by the 25th FIFA. People that want DD2 to be DD1, we're never going to buy it either way. And you can tell because the ace flipped. So. BG3 is a shit game, nothing like BG2, even the rule set's different, 1 out of 10. I thought Thaco was a great system. No way convoluted at all. Yeah, I mean, Red Hook said it themselves. They want you to have a reason to play both games. They don't want to invalidate the first game with the second. They've said that since day negative 60. Hated tall characters at the beginning of DD2. After you played it, you hated the small characters in one. Yeah, the art style grows on you. People complained about the art style, and then two was out for a bit, and then no one said anything after that. Alright, is there anything else to look at? Oh, uh, Gestalt, or whatever. 
Undermine 2. This looked like Undermine DLC, honestly, so. I don't think I need to see more. Cataclysma? Oh, this, yeah. This was like the, the three color palette. I play DD1 after 2 release? I do, but that's because it's my job. I cover both. Where's Gaston right here? Steam and Cinder. Yeah, this looks very Symphony of the Night-ish. But I, I love the aesthetic. Here's probably Sarah. We can look at it again. Yeah, anime waifu, perfect. Perhaps steampunk. Robots. Platforming. Swing, swing. Path of Exile skill tree. Oh my god. Spider Tonk. Dodge rolling, perfect. Yeah, this game looks great. I like the speed that it plays at too. Like it's it's not slow, but it's not like super fast. No. So, that's a cool one. Wait, that's soon. Is it even early access or is it just out? So many games to play now, I know, right? I like that they got their own thing up here, too. May 21st, yeah, no... Oh, there's a demo. Oops, I closed my Steam client. Come back, Steam. Guess we can play in a bit. Cleavage framing on that screen is definitely planned. Mmm. <laughs> you don't say. We don't need to see the STS trailer. Although, what I do like about this STS trailer here, like especially the, just how it is, the thumbnail and all that, silent main character, confirmed. Sorry, Iron Chads. What about Nine Souls, Sekiro 2D? DD2 mode looks sick, it does. Remember dark, slower, pixelated Metroidvania seeing trailer non seem 99% is abandoned? Her weapon is a kitchen knife and your ult is a slow hack with an axe? No one can say what game that was? It was an Elden Ring boss where everyone has like a super delayed hit where you're like, Effect the type of MF to rob graves. Oh, silent? Yes. Definitely. 100%. Nine souls? Oh, that's how you spell it. That's <laughs> a kitty. Like a visual novel in some ways. We'll wish list it. We'll take a look. No release date or anything. All right, bye now. We um, let's see. Oh, someone wanted to see the city builder again. Death must die, Act Two. Bro, just announce the game. Thirty-three immortals seem neat. We'll take a look at that one again. I don't remember it too well. This is like the story game, right? Oh, I, I, no, this is not for me at all. Raven's Watch, Fall of Avalon. Summit Kingdom, oh, this.
City builders are comfy. They are. Hmm. They have like multiple levels. Fish supply not met? How do you fish up here? You're on a fucking mountain. You mean Frostpunk? Ah, yes. Nothing more relaxing than sending the children to the coal mines in the video game for a 48 hour shift. Come back for your sawdust sandwich. I know, no Frostpunk 2 here. Yeah, this looks, this looks cool. If I get it for free, I'll play it. City builders tend to be expensive. Children yearn for the mines, it's true. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, the Immortals game. Oh, yeah, this looked interesting. My one thing is that this looks too slow. Like, the, the gameplay for this type of roguelite or whatever is just slow. Everything's very measured. That's not a bad thing. It looks like it works for its its system. Especially if you're trying to like put down units that help you. Well, I play Minecraft? What the hell? New torture chamber open, yikes. You know, seeing this a second time, I'm liking it more. I didn't like it that much the first time, but second time, Growing on me. Oh, is that co-op? Yeah. I mean, the art looks nice. Like, that's a cool looking enemy. Eagle Talon. Unique, rare relic. If it's unique, wouldn't it be ultra rare? There's no unique common relic. God, Hades really did inspire a generation, didn't it? It's not a bad thing. Reddick's vid description literally says the names of the new factions. Coven, Beastmen, and Crimson Quartiers. Yeah. That dude's got no head. Wow, the... the Like, the monster sprites are very well animated. Like, it's not, you know, three frames of animation. It's actually, like, a good few. That's, that's getting kind of crazy. I have heard of this. I mean, before this, I, I remember hearing the name. Didn't like Hades as a roguelite. You didn't like it as a visual novel either? Like the full raid feel? That is pretty cool. Then these games will consume as much as your life as FTL has. The only thing that um, Hades did well as a roguelite was the short run. Like fighting. Um, sign up now. Oh, closed beta coming. Is it not on Steam? Is there no closed beta on Steam? Did Epic buy it? Let's see. It doesn't have a Steam page. Interesting. Hold up. <laughs> I forgot. Don't dox me. Not on the, the browser. EGS, but also Xbox. Go up action roguelite for 33 players. Okay. That's good. That's a that's a spin. That's a good spin to have. I got, I'll play. I'll play it to play with thirty-three other people. That sounds fun and chaotic. Play a damn soul and rebel against God's final judgment. 
pick up and raid cooperative to survive hordes of monsters to beat massive bosses. This game went from meh, like if it was single player, meh. 33? Kinda cool. Internet greatly exaggerated how Hades was. Yeah, it... It was really awesome artistically, I will say. The mid-game, the gameplay is alright. Alright, Daco, thanks for being here. No joke, I, I think I will play this just because it's a 33-person co-op. Like, th this could be a fun stream game. Right, like viewers try and get in, be all cute at the same time. Right, this could be cool. Depends how much it costs, though. Hopefully it's not like 30 bucks. What would you pay for this? Like 20, 15? I had 32 friends. I had 32 viewers, okay. I don't have 32 friends. I got like eight friends, if that. Uh... All right, is there anything else to look at? Depends on the content, true. Depends how randomized and how much content. Wizard of Legend, this was... I guess we can watch this again. Love, love us for our truth. I remember being super hyped for the first Wizard of Legend. And then when it first came out, my computer couldn't run it because I had a potato fucking PC, so I never played it. I did. I have it. I own it. I want to play it. I just never have. Bum, 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 bum. This looks cool. I always like the idea. Looks co-op too. Co-op's always fun, man. Co-op does a lot of things, right? It makes the games more fun, replayable because you have your friends or whatever, or randoms. And it sells more copies. Some of the balancing. Yeah, the first one had like mixed reviews. IIRC. Alright, are we... Is that it? Norlin looked okay. I had no idea what the fuck was happening in this one. Oh, this is the one where the composer was... See, everyone else caught on to that too. No one wants to watch the composer talk about how he made music for the game. That I'm gonna be real, that's not a good first impression trailer. Raven's watch is good, but needs content. Well, it's getting some. Bob kills friendship, sometimes doom, not playing, healer, support, tank, whatever again. I mean, that's if your friends are, like, beta childish mindset, yeah. The point is to have fun. The point is to play with other people to have fun, and then you go like, Oh, I don't usually play healer, but I'll try it this time to see if it's different and have fun with this, but also have fun with my friends. When you're like, I just want to play DPS. Your friends have protagonist syndrome, the straight up main character mentality. Point is to dick around, yes. Air Survivor's getting a skin. Oh, yeah, Merc is uh, gonna be the prisoner. I always end up the cut character. Just insta lock DPS. And let them figure it out. Like, if the run fails, they go, We didn't have a healer. It's like, You could have played healer. Like, don't, don't be afraid to let people push themselves into a failing situation and then have to reflect on it. Am I describing your league rank gameplay? Maybe. Love being the heal slut? Same. I love playing healers. Go tank first, see? Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm older. I can just deal with that. This triple I mean, it's like triple A, but for indie devs. You're curious about the DD2 news. Have you not seen it? I've gone over it like three times, but I'll do it again.
And I'll just show it. It's a new mode. That's not the worst part. If you like healer, play healer. Who cares? Yeah, it's a new game mode. And it looks like a board game, which is cool. You're the heal Chad. That's the proper mentality. The side who lives or dies. Hmm, you didn't agree to split the loot with me. Music's still playing? That's fine. I don't want to listen to this. Yeah, so you got like regular battle stuff, but then you can upgrade the ends. I wanted to play a game after this, but I might I might end stream. So I can make videos. Boom 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 boom. Yeah, that's it. We have no idea when it's coming out, except for this year. The need of Hellion on the start screen, so? So? All right. Chat to Roni. Any other last second questions, concerns? Whatevs? I'm gonna send you to Bear. So thanks for hanging out. I don't get to raid Bear often. So go say hi. Be nice. I know y'all love bear. And I'll see you tomorrow.